years after his firstborn son was slain in a drive-by shooting on a La Mesa freeway, Zasha Brown spent sleepless nights agonizing over whether his son's killer would be brought to justice. With help from his tribe, the Siku and band of the Gumia A Nation, and law enforcement, Brown and family members put together a $100,000 reward for information. Freeway signs were erected in his son's memory, but the case remained unsolved. It was hard to remain hopeful, he said. Then, last week, he got a text message from a detective working the case. Three men had been arrested in the 2013 shooting of his son, 22-year-old Xasha Brown, Jr. The news was bittersweet. Investigators revealed the young man fell victim to a gang feud he wasn't involved in, a gang feud that police officials suspect may be connected to three other deaths. It's a feeling that you can't describe because you wait for so long, the father said of the arrests. And then you realize so many other lives are affected. I don't know if these young men have kids of their own, but it affects us all, these actions. All of our lives have changed so much. Brown, Jr. was a passenger in a car on Interstate 8 when gunfire erupted in the early hours of May 5. He was struck by a single bullet to the head. The driver, Malcolm Hune, was also injured. Investigators believe the shooting spawned from a gang feud between Hune and the suspects. Mr. Brown, who was not a gang member, was an unintended victim, said La Mesa Police Chief Walt Vasquez. La Mesa and California Highway Patrol officers collected evidence, including shell casings found on the freeway, and tracked down witnesses after the fatal shooting. The case was later transferred to a detective with the East County Regional Gang Task Force. Members of the task force employed a number of investigative techniques, sifted through hundreds of hours of surveillance footage and served more than 70 search warrants, said San Diego County Sheriff Bill Gore. Years of work culminated in the execution of nine search warrants in Humboldt, Las Vegas and Phoenix on Wednesday. While in Las Vegas, task force members tracked down and arrested 25-year-old Dante Haddock a former Humboldt State University football player from San Diego. He majored in criminal law and graduated in 2015, according to the university football team's website. He previously attended East Lake High School and Southwestern College. Authorities on Monday said Haddock is a known gang member in San Diego. He faces 105 years to life in prison in connection with Brown's death. Two other suspects who were already in custody for unrelated crimes, were also charged in the killing. Alan T. Eason, 26, is imprisoned in California State Prison, Sacramento for the attempted murder of a rival gang member in El Cajun. He faces 65 years to life in prison, in addition to the 20-year sentence he is already serving. Anthony Frank, 25, was recently jailed on suspicion of pandering and human trafficking of a minor. He faces 65 years to life for Brown's death. All three men are to be charged with first-degree murder in connection with Brown's death. They will also face conspiracy to commit murder and attempted premeditated murder charges in connection with the injury suffered by Hune, the driver. To the family who's here, I know you've been suffering for years, wondering whether your loved one's killer will ever pay for their crimes, said San Diego County District Attorney Bonnie Dumanese. I hope today that brings some small measure of justice. Investigators suspect the gang feud that led to Brown Jr.'s death also claimed three other lives. In 2011, Doris Walker was gunned down in a parking lot behind a Marie Callender's restaurant on Alvarado Road in La Mesa. Three years later, in 2014, Dalvin Yarbrough and Dijon Fontaine were shot and killed on South Siena Street near Skyline Drive in San Diego's Skyline neighborhood. The killers were seen driving a dark SUV or a silver BMW. Police asked anyone with information about these unsolved cases to call the investigating police agencies or Crime Stoppers anonymously at 888-580-8477. Xusha Brown, a Saku and council member, said the last several years have been a struggle. He hopes the arrests will help him and his family heal. 
me and my boy, we did everything together. A lot of the places that we went, I'm still not able to walk into those same businesses, those barber shops, the father said. Today's events put some of that to rest and I'm grateful for that. Police Chief Vasquez, of La Mesa, said no one has received the reward that was offered in the case at this time.